I'm rolling. Perfect. Black and white action. Let's go. Action. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys for being here. Today, we are back at Happy Trailers. We are with Leroy with Happy Trailers. Thank you for having us and for giving us in. the chance to do this video for our audience. In this video, guys, we're going to talk about what are some of the most common questions that are asked when purchasing a trailer at a dealership. And since we are here, why not share this with you guys? But before we get started, Leroy, if you don't mind just sharing, where are we? What do you guys do here? A little bit about the operation. Absolutely. So with Happy Trailer Sales, we are a full service dealership anywhere from trailer sales to service to parts to truck accessories whatever it may be uh, we're the one-stop shop that can take care of anything that you're doing out on the road All right, so let's jump right into this, guys. As a customer coming in to your shop here, and we've been you know, having this discussion and conversations about what are some of the most common questions. Let's talk about upgrades, adding accessories. If I'm a customer and I'm coming in and I see a trailer that I want, you guys have yeah. it a lot. What are my options? What can I add? What? Talk to us a little Absolutely. bit about that. If you see a trailer out there that you like and you just need a little more stuff added to it, that's something that we do here at the shop all the time. Whether it's another toolbox that you need or the wood rack, the sliding ratchets, a winch plate, even a full winch, you name it, you know, all of those accessories, we keep these parts in stock and we can get them added to your trailer and, and get you on the road quickly. So that is something that you guys do in-house. It's not something that you have to do a custom order, have the manufacturer do it. That's that's good to know. The next question, as far as purchasing, financing, do you guys offer things like that? Like what options do you guys have for someone? Do you guys kind of educate a little bit on, you know, what route to go from a business owner? Absolutely, yes. Okay. We have finance options that are all third party, uh, both for consumer finance and for business loans. Um, we offer a rent to own program. That's a no credit check option. That is quick and simple. Um, we have lease options, you name it, we can do it. That's what's up, man. Y'all hear that? Rent to own. If you know you wanna rent the trailer, if you if you know it helps your finances, and that's an option. That's good to know that you guys offer that. It's a really really popular option right now. Um, so many new business owners can't get a, a business loan because they have to be in business for so long before they can start building that business credit. Right. So this rent to own option is the perfect way to get your trailer out on the road and nice. and start making that money. Nice. Okay. So next question that you know I would ask as a customer is. Can we rent any equipment? Can we rent a gooseneck trailer? What options do you guys have when it comes to that? Absolutely, yes. We've got uh, trailer rentals down from utility trailers, single car haulers, dump trailers, gooseneck flatbeds, all the way up to a 40 foot that are available for daily or weekly rentals. Uh, say if you're down for a bit and you still need to be out on the road getting your loads done, we can get that taken care of for you. Okay, simple process. Simple process. All we need is your driver's license and your vehicle insurance. Nice. All right, man, let's head into the shop. Let's talk about one of the most common questions. Payload, what can I carry on my trailer? Let's go up to the front of the trailer. I can show you kind of how to calculate that. All right, so we're here at the bench sticker of this setup. Talk to me about some of the ratings and what people should be looking out for. So this trailer specifically, you can always look at the bench sticker to tell you the GVWR of the trailer. This one has a GVWR of 25,000 pounds. This is gonna be a CDL required trailer. Gotcha. Uh, so we'll use that as an, as an example. For this one, you have a 25,000 pound gross weight rating, and you need to add that to the gross weight rating of your tow vehicle as well. Typically 14K, a dually. If you're looking at a dually, 14K. Okay. If you add those numbers together, you're at 39,000 pounds. Gotcha. That's gross weight. So from that, you just obviously need to subtract the empty weight of your entire rig. That should, for DOT purposes, tell you what your remaining payload is. So that, that determines what I can actually put on my trailer. Yes. Now talk to me a little bit about what the trailer, how can I calculate what this trailer can handle as far as maybe some, you know, axles, transfer uh, right. weight onto the tow vehicle. How does that kind of work a little bit? All right, so like on this specific trailer, you're looking at 10,000 pound axles or a gross weight rating of 25,000 pounds. But that doesn't mean that you can put 25,000 pounds on this trailer necessarily. Yeah. You gotta remember that the trailer itself weighs some and that there's also gonna be some transfer onto the truck. But that's a whole big long process. Yeah, we're not gonna talk video. about that, guys. Do your research, man. Cal do your calculations and keep in mind, whether you're non-CDL or CDL, 
the trailer has its weight. Someone's being transferred to the truck, so you definitely gotta do your homework. But let's go talk about brakes, man. Let's talk about some brake drums, maybe some tires, and uh, as a common question that you may get. As we spoke about earlier, man, another common question is what kind of brakes should I look to have on my uh, trailer? What That's should right. I expect? Your standard brakes that are gonna come both on the non-CDL and CDL setups are gonna be your electric drum brake. We've got one right here where you can see the big drum and the pads are gonna be inside with the magnet. Great upgrade that you can look into is gonna be the electric over hydraulic disc brake. Uh, that gives you brakes that honestly are very comparable to the brakes that you're used to on your pickup with a, a brake actuator that's mounted up in the neck and easy maintenance brake pads, calipers, and rotors. I was gonna say that, man. Maintenance probably is a lot better, so that's what's up. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it rolling, I'm gonna keep it rolling. What about tires, man? What, yeah. what can I expect with tires? Once again, both for your non-CDL and CDL setups, 7K up to 12K axles. Your standard tires are gonna be on 10 plies, but a great upgrade if you wanna do something that's gonna last a little longer would be your 14 ply tires. Yeah, I definitely always say, as you guys know, man, just go 14 ply if you can, get the upgrade, man, and not have that worry when you're on the road of maybe possibly blowing out a tire like you said they will work but depending on how hard you run and what you do and what you're hauling it can be um it can it can you can have some breakdowns be mindful yeah, of that be payload. mindful of that payload there you go well let's talk about the tails man real quick and then uh, we'll wrap this video up let's do it So we did an entire video in detail talking about the different tail options, so we're not gonna go too in depth into that, but we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. Drop your comments down below. Let us know what are some questions that you're asking when you go to your dealerships. We're gonna leave everything in the description as far as Happy Trailer Sales, their links, if you wanna get in contact with them. Keep in mind, if you are in need for a trailer and you use Mac 500, you will get a $500 discount if you do come to Happy Trailers and that's any Happy Trailers that you go to. If you guys have any other questions for the dealership, for Leroy, drop them down in the comments. We might have missed some most important common questions that are asked at the dealership. Um, it just helps everyone out and you know just sharing the knowledge at the same time. If you guys have any questions for Happy Trailers, Leroy will be interacting Absolutely. with you guys just to kind of give more insight on some of the questions that you guys, we may have missed. So definitely drop them down in the comments. We're gonna wrap this video up. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video with someone that might be getting into the industry that might be thinking of purchasing a trailer. Don't forget the Mac 500 discount here at Happy Trailers. That's gonna be a wrap, guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one.